Hi there, welcome to Pop Galaxy. I'm Emily, and today we have with us Matt Hawkins, who is the Vice President and COO of Top Cow Productions, as well as the author of the new series, Wildfire, which is what we are here to talk about today. And Wildfire is by Minotaur Press, which is a label of Top Cow Productions in conjunction with Carthay Circle Publishing and distributed by Image Comics. Yes. Whew, correct, That's a right? lot, of, lot of publishers. <laughs> so welcome, Matt. Welcome. Um, let's just get right into it. So Wildfire is basically a disaster story, correct? About GMO kind of gone wrong. Yeah, I've always wanted to do it like a disaster story, but I've always found like disaster epics to be kind of stupid, you know, and the, the sort of the, what happens in them seems kind of silly. So I wanted to try to do something that was rooted in a little more reality. Um, I liked the Contagion movie a lot, yeah. and I know that they had done a lot of scientific research and had some scientists that were sort of uh, working with them on that. So I went the same route and uh, found some plant biologists and uh, some people that are experts in the field and kind of talked to them about what could possibly happen, and that's where I started getting some of the ideas. Very cool. It's a four issue series and in that first issue it kind of hints about the dangers of GMO. Right. Is Top Cow taking a stance on this? Or? Absolutely not. Okay. No. <laughs> um, I think one of the things I discovered very quickly is that both sides of that debate and argument are really kind of full of it. Um, and both of them are lying and exaggerating and making false claims and uh, the reality is somewhere in the middle. I think the scientists that are doing this are really trying to do a good thing. Um, I think the activists on the other side are so opposed to it reflexively without really even knowing why. Um, and the business people that are in the middle of it are not helping. Hmm. You know, and I think the uh, there's, a, there's some collusion going on, so there's truth on both sides of the argument. But the reality is, is these people that are making these things are attempting to make the world a better place. Right. Uh, but these kind of things have long-lasting ramifications. So I, I don't really have a position on either one. If I would if I would fall on one side or the other, I would actually fall on the activist side. Really. But it was it's primarily because I think there needs to be more testing than there is. Okay. So. So is that kind of something you hope to start? As far as I'm speaking of, like a discussion. Would you like to start a discussion between both sides through this comic book? No. no. <laughs> I have no desire to do any of that. My thing is I just wanted to do something that would sort of educate people, entertain them a little bit about the uh, kind of the, the, what it is. One of the things I've always tried to do is educate first or and entertain first. You want okay. to entertain first and then educate a little bit. Uh, and the reason why I did Wildfire is I didn't know anything about GMO. And uh, I'd heard about it forever and ever, certified organic, all this stuff. I didn't know what any of that meant. So I started digging knee deep into it to try to figure out what it was, met some people, went to some organizations that I won't name, and uh, did some interviews and uh, did a lot of things. And the research was sort of fun for me. And now I feel like I have a very good grasp on it. Nice. You really so, got into it. Yeah. It's good to know. Every decade, there is a series, a comic book series, a book, whatever, that kind of defines that time. I know it's huge shoes to fill, but do you think that Wildfire has the possibility of being that series? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> um, yeah, no. My thing is, I, I don't really write for that kind of notoriety. I mean, my thing is, I'm just trying to do stuff that's fun, entertains, and educates a little bit. Um, and I'm doing what I want to do, you know? So that gives me a little bit of freedom and leeway to play with the, the ideas and push it. Like, this is the kind of book you wouldn't see like a Marvel or DC do. Okay. Um, so, and the more, you know, the more mainstream you get, uh, the less controversial you get for the most part. So, and I, I think this will be a relatively controversial book. So, um, it, usually stuff like this is cult favorites and picked up later. Mm -hmm. um, it's doing very well. It's the best selling launch book I've had so far in the last few years. That's wonderful. So it's getting a lot of notoriety and awareness, but um, as to whether it's the book of the decade or not, yeah, I, I, I highly doubt that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. You can find the digital version of Wildfire exclusively on wowio.com.